Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of the wonderful Wubulus Project Zomboid Peach Mall 2.0 save file. Last episode was a good one in that we got a lot of construction done. The fortifications around the house I'd say are really close to 50% done. I'm just talking walls. I'm not talking windows and doors and all that stuff. That's really, really easy and very, very quick. Um, I'm, I'm just talking about straight up building a wall around the house. We're... I'd say we're about halfway, maybe a little bit less, uh, maybe like 40% of the way there. If we, I mean, if we take a look at it, we're just missing the front of the house and the last side of the house that's going to connect to the fence. And that's it. That's all we need. And then we're good to go. So uh, that's that's it. But before we worry about that, I'm going to head back to the mall today. Today's going to be mall trip number two. Now, there was a comment last episode that says I keep passing an REI style store, which if you, those of you who don't know what REI is, REI is like a hiking kind of outdoorsy shop um and from my understanding uh there's lots of axes and stuff in there from what he says now keep in mind uh loot is on on extremely rare as rare as i could possibly make it um so if we go in there i wouldn't expect anything more than maybe like one axe but still one axe an extra axe is good i just don't know where it is so we're gonna look at it again now he says i've passed it over and over and over again so my guess my guess is that this REI style store will be on the first floor, something I've, I've walked by numerous times. I'm trying to think if there's been a store that I, I've, I've cleared but never went into. That's why I'm very confused. I feel like I've gone into every store, but at the same time, I wouldn't put it past me, especially me, uh, to, oh, my cat's sleeping, uh, to miss something that's in my face that I tell myself I normally wouldn't miss because this is just how I am. My attention span while commentating especially is very hard to keep under control and I try my best for you folks to keep you all smiling because you're smiley type of people and I like smiley peeps. All right, so let's pop inside. Let's see where this REI type store is. Um, it, it has to be on the first floor, right? I mean, maybe it's on the second floor and he's just, I've maybe passed it the two times I've been on the second floor. But let's take a look. Is it the question is is it obviously an REI type of store? A. I've been in this store. This one right here, I don't think. But I'm gonna be meticulous. I'm gonna look real hard. I've, I'm almost positive. Oh, I'm almost positive I've been in this store before. Oh, okay. They're just again treating the wall as transparent. Uh, let's pop over here. Let's actually pop this open and deal with whatever's in here. Couple of good one shots. Ooh, we got a lot of good one shots there. Man, my guy is on a friggin' roll right now. Okay, well I don't know why he's just—he's like a champion right now, but he goddamn is, and it's amazing. All right, we gotta back up a little bit. Kind of unleash a little bit of a difficult situation on us. I wouldn't say, man, eh, maybe difficult is the wrong definition, but an exciting one. <laughs> at the very least. That was basically as beautiful as I could have hoped for it to be. Now, there's a crawler. Obviously. Somewhere. Where is he? Maybe I killed him. Nope. There's a couple of... Okay, there's a guy in there. Alright, what do we got? Do a quick search. I think it's just a clothing store. I'm going to take the wood glue, though. Duct tape. Okay, we're getting a little greedy, so let's get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a ton of zombies on that side of the door. Don't like it. Don't like it one bit. One bit. All right, let's see. Where else could it possibly be that I've passed by? I don't think it's this one. This looks like a kid's store, but we will check. Yes, yeah, it's a toy store. Hmm. Where else could it be? Could it be one of these stores? This is a shoe store. I've definitely searched this store out already. What about this one? Did I miss this store? Candles, like wallets and stuff. Does not seem like it. I think I've been in here. But while we're here, I'm actually going to use the wood glue to repair this axe. Get a little bit more out of it. Alright, where is it? Where could it be? It's got a jukebox in it. My guess would be that's like a music store of some sort. Is this like a grocery store? What is this? Screwdriver spoon. This might be it. Then again, this has kind of the most random shit ever. 
What the hell? First of all, what store stocks its shelves with, like, spoons and stuff? And that was a box of paper clips, by the way. I'm not taking that. I will take more wood glue. Possibly get a little bit more out of the axe. It's been repaired six times, but whatever. Keeping it strong. It's got a Rubik's Cube, some forks, a pen. Okay, I don't know what store this is. I hope this is not the one you guys you were talking about, but... I'm just going to leave. This looks like pointless. Clothing store. All right. Not over here. Maybe it's upstairs. We'll take a peek. Uh, my guess is you got to be talking about upstairs. It's the only thing I could think of. If I've been passing it over and over. My guess would be if I'm passing it over and over, it means I'm, I've been going by it almost every single day. Again, I'm going off the words that he's using, so I could be wrong. He might mean I, he might be a little bit, you know, using a little bit stronger language than usual. Maybe not over and over, but maybe I've passed it only a, a few times. Because that's a restaurant. This was like a jewelry store. I'm looking at the signs, too. Like, maybe it's a sign down there that shows that something. Hmm. Swing over this side. Take a look. If only I could read uh, the directions there. I could check out where where this place is. Offices. That's a clothing store. I haven't even been on this side of the mall, so maybe not. Shoot for shoot shoot for the stars. Oh man, look at that name. Good stuff. Is it this one? Is it this place? I mean, this is the place I was in. I was like a CVS that I was talking about, but maybe he meant this place. Though I'm pretty sure I've gone through this pretty heavily. What about over here? Wait for the Zeds to load up. I've been in here too, though. It's got like a sheet and like a magazine. Again, nothing spectacular. Or anything that would that would tell me it's a uh, like an REI kind of situation. Book book naked man. These guys got jokes for days. So there's a restaurant in there, which is good because that means there's food. But I don't really need food right now. I mean, my character's a little hungry, but I don't know if I want to fight a horde of zombies for food at this point. Maybe it's over here. This is like the only other place I think I haven't. At least on this floor. All right, so there's dog food here, which tells me this might have some some snacks or something I can eat. We'll take the canned food. Instant popcorn. It's got snacks. This is definitely not an REI kind of store, though. So I'm curious what he's talking about. Not that I don't believe him. I'm just I don't know what. All right, let's take you out. I think he's dead. Oop, he's got bullets though. Take that. Let's check the shelf. Nails, yes. Let's get out of here. Keep it closed because there was some mild banging somewhere in the distance. All right, so my guess is it's on the, uh, it's on the first floor. It's the only thing that makes sense. So I'm going to go check some more first floor stuff. See if there's a store that I haven't searched or didn't search thoroughly or something. You say X, man. You put me on a trail. And if it, there's that rare occasion where I catch your comment and I get to read it, I'm going to be on the hunt for it. He could just be trolling me too. I mean, that's never out of the possibilities of things. Furniture store. More furniture store. All right. Don't know what he's talking about. I don't. It's getting a little bit late. I think the next thing we're going to tackle in the mall is going to be the restaurant on the second floor for food. All right. Nothing in here is good. What about this? Is this what he's talking about, maybe? This looks like a Macy's or something, though. 
some nails. So it's at least good. It's at least worth searching. Doesn't look like an REI. Or any outdoorsy area that I'm aware of, anyway. This looks like a clothing store. You cannot say I did not go looking for this place. In the process, though, I did come across a few things of canned food and um, some nails and useful tools. So that was worth it. Okay, I've definitely been here. I'm very nervous. I'm going to actually swing up the stairs real quick. Oh, wait, shit balls. Nope. I had a feeling. I think they just fell. I don't know. I don't know if they can come through the stairs. I don't think they can. Well, maybe they can. Yep, they can. And you know what? Let's just take him out. If he's especially if he's the only one. Well, there's a couple. See how weird this the walls like the the mall works with not being able to see certain things when I enter certain areas. It's almost treating it like there are walls around me right now. It's bizarre. And like I'm looking and walking through like a visible glass or something. Okay. Nothing here that was worth going to. Well, that's a lie. There's a lot of things that were worth going to, but nothing here that came across as an REI store. With axes and all kinds of other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go kill him off. Come here, bud. Good. All right. Let's roll. Start heading to swing back home. We do need to put some food in our stomach. We do have a lot of stuff we need to put away, too. Did keep myself a little bit over encumbered there. Kind of silly of me. Happens, though. All right. That wasn't terrible. Uh, I, I'm going to have to look. Maybe I'll take a look at a map or something to see. Uh, like, there's got to be a map with, like, a store layout or something that tells me of all the different types of stores in here. Um, this is a restaurant. So maybe I'll take a look between episodes or in the next couple of days. Maybe not necessarily between this episode and next, but in the next few episodes. To see if there is, in fact, a, a store that I've definitely been passing by uh, that has all this stuff. Because if I have, I, I profusely apologize. I definitely want to make sure I'm equipping myself with an axe and stuff at all times. I'm actually going to put these bullets here. I want to keep them all in the same bag so I can move them around a lot easier. We'll put all this away. We'll have some dinner when we go home. Same thing with these shotgun shells. I'm going to keep these in one one bag, too. Everything else is good. Let's take a look at our water supply. We'll fill this up when we go home. I think, I think it rained between last time we opened, ended up using the water supply and the time before that. But the next big goal is definitely going to be that restaurant, I, I believe. That restaurant's going to be... Hopefully a treasure trove, especially when we get to the back where there's going to be refrigerators and all this stuff um, and cabinets and stuff. Hopefully we'll have a lot of canned food we can take back. By a lot, I mean a minimum of five. Five things. If we can pull back a minimum of five things, that's like five days of food since we really only eat once a day. We can really stretch eating once a day if we absolutely have to. So That's my goal. Again, looking at our stats, we're going to come in closer to the 2K mark. 2k zombies killed mark let's go ahead and fill it and let's put away because we're not gonna go we're not gonna do any more construction so let's go ahead and pop all the stuff that we ended up getting that we don't really need to be carrying around because i have a real bad habit of just not putting things away when i get back and i'd like that to be changed at least a little bit. I still will probably carry around unnecessary garbage, but try to keep that to a minimum. Pop. It's not this one. It's that one. Canned, canned, canned. Haven't even popped into our canned stuff yet. And we'll have chips for dinner. Swing upstairs and get our character in bed. It's a productive day. Very productive day. Good. Sleep done. Perfect. Let's get it going, ladies and gents. Let's get it going. I'm excited. I'm excited. This is, I think, the one series I don't typically record in bulk. Like I've, I've been saying over the past couple episodes for a different series, I've been really getting back into the habit of recording 
multiple episodes all in one sitting um, just to get back into that swing of things for packs and stuff. But Zomboid is one that I like to do every day. And a lot of that boils down to uh, keeping the tension high for myself and for you. I don't, I don't like to know what's going to happen next. I like to be, I guess, on the edge of my seat every single time we record an episode. Because um, you never know what's going to happen, right? You never know if I'm going to die or not. And if I record ahead of time, it's hard for me to be excited along with you guys. Uh, that's a lot of the fun for me. I may not read the comments as much as I used to. Um, but I definitely still do read them and I enjoy reading people wondering what's going to happen next and, and what they think I should be doing this that and the other and uh, Watching the reactions of when something happens and to know ahead of time in a game like this What's going to happen? It takes a lot of the fun out of that It's pretty much one of the only series. I don't do that for for better or for worse Okay Let's wait for my character to catch his breath. I'm gonna try and get to the moment before I'm drenched that's the overall hope. We'll see if it ends up happening. You never know. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we can get back in time. I don't like it, especially when we start getting really wet just because we start slowing down because we're wet. Um, I like I love the description. Get out of the rain or you'll catch your death. Let's go and swing into here. Looks, we're only going to be slightly wet, damp. It's good. All right. I, I really don't think this is the R REI story I was talking about. I don't think so. It's got drinks and everything, so I don't know. Is it? This is all restaurants, right? I'm, I'm going to check over here real quick. I'm second guessing myself. Pretty sure I looted all these things, too. Well, maybe not necessarily. Let's do that real quick. Broken down door is always uh, an interesting sign. Box of paper clips, box of nails, screwdriver. What is all this stuff? Why is this in a kitchen? Almost like survivors were living here at one point. Huh. This cheese isn't rotten yet. I'll take it. I don't know why it's not rotten yet. Oh, this is rotten. Maybe we'll get some good stuff over here. More shotgun shells. I guess I didn't check this open. Or check this all out, rather. Door was open, though, so I'm curious. I must have popped it open and made like a quick search. But there might have been a lot of zombies around, which would have put me back to come back at a later date. Always good when you leave yourself a nice little surprise, which I do to myself quite often. All right, we'll wrap this episode up here. We'll check out the rest of the restaurants next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, more Zomboid tomorrow, and maybe consider dropping a like. It helps me out a whole bunch. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.